In the mathematical fields of geometry and linear algebra, a principal axis is a certain line in a Euclidean space associated with an ellipsoid or hyperboloid, generalizing the major and minor axes of an ellipse or hyperbola. The principal axis theorem states that the principal axes are perpendicular, and gives a constructive procedure for finding them. Mathematically, the principal axis theorem is a generalization of the method of completing the square from elementary algebra. In linear algebra and functional analysis, the principal axis theorem is a geometrical counterpart of the spectral theorem. It has applications to the statistics of principal components analysis and the singular value decomposition. In physics, the theorem is fundamental to the study of angular momentum. Topic. Motivation The equations in the Cartesian plane are 2 x 2 9 plus y 2 25 equals 1 Display style frac x caret two nine plus frac y caret two twenty five equals one x two nine minus y two twenty five equals one Display style frac x caret two nine frac y caret two twenty five equals one define, respectively, an ellipse and a hyperbola. In each case, the x and y axes are the principal axes. This is easily seen, given that there are no cross terms involving products x, y in either expression. However, the situation is more complicated for equations like 5 x 2 plus 8 x y plus 5 y 2 equals 1 display style 5x caret 2 plus 8xy plus 5y caret 2 equals 1 here some method is required to determine whether this is an ellipse or a hyperbola the basic observation is that if, by completing the square, the quadratic expression can be reduced to a sum of two squares then the equation defines an ellipse, whereas if it reduces to a difference of two squares then the equation represents a hyperbola. u x y 2 plus v x y 2 equals 1 ellipse display style u x y caret 2 plus v x y caret 2 equals 1 q quad text ellipse u x y 2 minus v x y 2 equals 1 Hyperbola Display style U x Y carrot two V x Y carrot two equals one Q quad text hyperbola. Thus, in our example expression, the problem is how to absorb the coefficient of the cross term eight x y into the functions U and V. Formally, this problem is similar to the problem of matrix diagonalization, where one tries to find a suitable coordinate system in which the matrix of a linear transformation is diagonal. The first step is to find a matrix in which the technique of diagonalization can be applied. The trick is to write the quadratic form as 5 by 2 plus 8 x y plus 5 y 2 equals x y 5 4 4 5 x y equals x t a x display style 5 x caret 2 plus 8 x y plus 5 y caret 2 equals begin b matrix x and y end b matrix begin b matrix 5 and 4 4 and 5 end b matrix begin b matrix x y end b matrix equals math BF x carrot T A Math BF x where the cross term has been split into two equal parts. 
The matrix A in the above decomposition is a symmetric matrix. In particular, by the spectral theorem, it has real eigenvalues and is diagonalizable by an orthogonal matrix orthogonally diagonalizable. To orthogonally diagonalize A, one must first find its eigenvalues, and then find an orthonormal eigenbasis. Calculation reveals that the eigenvalues of A are lambda 1 equals 1 lambda 2 equals 9 display style lambda underscore 1 equals 1 quad lambda underscore 2 equals 9 with corresponding eigenvectors v 1 equals 1 minus 1 v 2 equals 1 1 Display style math BF V underscore one equals begin B matrix one minus one end B matrix quad math BF V underscore two equals begin B matrix one one end B matrix. Dividing these by the respective lengths yields an orthonormal eigenbasis U one equals one two minus 1 2 u 2 equals 1 2 1 2 Display style Math BF U underscore one equals begin B matrix one SQRT two minus one SQRT two end B matrix quad Math BF U underscore two equals begin B matrix one SQRT two one SQRT two end B matrix now the matrix S equals U1 U2 is an orthogonal matrix, since it has orthonormal columns, and A is diagonalized by A equals S D S minus 1 equals S D S T equals 1 2 1 2 minus 1 2 1 2 1 0 0 9 1 2 minus one half one half one half display style a equals sds carrot minus one equals sds carrot t equals begin b matrix one sqrt two and one sqrt two minus one sqrt two and one sqrt two end b matrix begin b matrix one and zero zero and nine end b matrix begin b matrix one sqrt two and minus one sqrt Two one SQRT two and one SQRT two end B matrix. This applies to the present problem of diagonalizing the quadratic form through the observation that five x two plus eight x y plus five y 2 equals x t a x equals x t s d s t x equals s t x t D S T X equals one X minus Y two two plus nine X plus 
y 2 2 Display style five x carrot two plus eight x y plus five y carrot two equals Math BF x carrot T A Math BF x equals Math BF x carrot T SDS carrot T Math BF x equals S carrot T Math BF x carrot T D S carrot T Math BF x equals one left frac x y SQRT two right carrot two plus nine Nine left frac x plus y sqrt two right carrot two. Thus, the equation five x two plus eight x y plus five y two equals one. Display style five x carrot two plus eight x y plus five y carrot two equals one is that of an ellipse, since the left side can be written as the sum of two squares. It is tempting to simplify this expression by pulling out factors of two. However, it is important not to do this. The quantities C one equals x minus Y two C two equals X plus Y two Display style C underscore one equals frac x y SQRT two quad C underscore two equals frac x plus Y SQRT two have a geometrical meaning. They determine an orthonormal coordinate system on R2. In other words, they are obtained from the original coordinates by the application of a rotation and possibly a reflection. Consequently, one may use the C1 and C2 coordinates to make statements about length and angles, particularly length, which would otherwise be more difficult in a different choice of coordinates by rescaling them, for instance. For example, the maximum distance from the origin on the ellipse C12 plus 9 C22 equals 1 occurs when C2 equals 0, so at the point C1 equals plus or minus 1. Similarly, the minimum distance is where C2 equals plus or minus 1 third. It is possible now to read off the major and minor axes of this ellipse. These are precisely the individual eigenspaces of the matrix A, since these are where C2 equals 0 or C1 equals 0. Symbolically, the principal axes are E 1 equals span 1 2 minus 1 2 E 2 equals span 1 2 1 2 display style underscore 1 equals text span left begin B matrix 1 sqrt 2 minus 1 sqrt 2 end B matrix right quad e underscore 2 equals text span left begin B matrix 1 sqrt 2 1 sqrt 2 end B matrix right to summarize the equation is for an ellipse since both eigenvalues are positive Otherwise, if one were positive and the other negative, it would be a hyperbola. The principal axes are the lines spanned by the eigenvectors. The minimum and maximum distances to the origin can be read off the equation in diagonal form. Using this information, it is possible to attain a clear geometrical picture of the ellipse, to graph it, for instance. Topic. Formal statement The principal axis theorem concerns quadratic forms in Rn, which are homogeneous polynomials of degree 2. Any quadratic form may be represented as Q x equals x t a x 
Display style Q Math BF X equals Math BF X carrot T A Math BF X where A is a symmetric matrix. The first part of the theorem is contained in the following statements guaranteed by the spectral theorem. The eigenvalues of A are real. A is diagonalizable, and the eigenspaces of A are mutually orthogonal, in particular, A is orthogonally diagonalizable, since one may take a basis of each eigenspace and apply the Gram-Schmidt process separately within the eigenspace to obtain an orthonormal eigenbasis. For the second part, suppose that the eigenvalues of A are lambda 1, lambda n, possibly repeated according to their algebraic multiplicities, and the corresponding orthonormal eigenbasis is U1, un, then Q x equals lambda 1 c 1 2 plus Lambda two C two two plus plus Lambda N C N two Display style Q Math BF X equals Lambda underscore one C underscore one carrot two plus Lambda underscore two C underscore two carrot two plus dots plus Lambda underscore N C underscore N carrot two where the C are the coordinates with respect to the given eigenbasis. Furthermore, the ITH principal axis is the line determined by the N one equation C J equals zero, j does not equal i. This axis is the span of the vector ui. Equals Topic. See also Equals Sylvester's law of inertia <laughs>